So hi all, welcome to my channel. In this session, we will discuss about the controlling area, and then we will discuss in the cost center accounting, how to create a cost center group. Then we will assign the cost center group to the standard hierarchy. Then we will create a cost center, and also we will create a cost element. Okay. So for the controlling area, the transaction code is OKKP. Controlling area is the organization unit which is used for the cost accounting purpose. And the controlling area can be used by more than one company codes. Now let's see in SAP how we can create the controlling area. I will show you the SAP path where you can do this configuration. So we will go to the IMG screen. For that, I will go to SPRO, SAP Reference IMG. Then from here you have to go to controlling. Then go to general controlling. Then go to organization. Then here you can see that the maintain controlling area. So here I will maintain the controlling area. Okay, in that new entries. So I am maintaining my controlling area same as my company code. So here I will give my company code. Okay, so I am maintaining the same controlling area is the company code. Okay. So here if you want to give this for more than one company code, you can use controlling cost company code cost accounting. So if you give this, you will be able to select. Six different currencies, and if you are giving the same as same as that of company code, you will be having only the company code currency. Okay. So next, we will assign the cost center standard hierarchy. So I will create a cost center hierarchy. Will be EDZ one underscore ECTR. Okay, so this is the cost standard cost center standard hierarchy which I am going to maintain. Now I will save this. So it's asking that the standard hierarchy does not exist. Should the system be created as a standard hierarchy? So okay, I will give yes. Okay, it's taking some time, so please wait. Okay, then we will assign. Company code to controlling area. Then we will give new entries. Then we will give our company code. Okay, I will give enter. And I will save this. Now I will activate the component. For that, I will go to new entries. And here I will give the physical year. Okay, then I will give the which all things I want to make it active. So I will make the cost centers as active and the order management. So the internal orders I will make it as active. Okay, and what all things you want to make it active, you can give that. I will give a profit center accounting projects. I will make all these things active. Okay. And now I will save this. Okay. Now we will go back. Now we can maintain the number ranges for controlling 
documents. So here we can give our, or we can, it's better to copy from the controlling, uh, from our any other company codes, from the standard company codes, we can copy. So here we can give the standard company code. So I will do one thing. I will uh, copy from the this company code to my company code. Okay. Okay. So you can see that the controlling area thousand was copied to thousand seven fifty. Okay. Now we will go back. Then here you can maintain the versions. So this is used for the uh, planning purpose. So we can select the standard one. There are many type of versions. We can uh, maintain this. So I will be selecting my version as zero. Okay. So I will select this and. I will give my controlling area which is 1750 and give OK. So this will be the yes. OK. So accordingly we can do this. After this you can save this. So after this we will go to the profit. Uh, the cost center accounting. So for that we will go back. So here you will be able to see the cost center accounting. So first we will create the cost center group. So for that we will go to master data. Then go to cost centers. Okay, here you will be able to see. Here you will be able to see the standard hierarchy. So please wait, it's taking a little bit time. Okay, this is the standard cost under standard hierarchy which we created okay now we will create the cost center group for this we will define the cost center group here so here cost center group so i'm going to create the cost center group as em01 and i will enter okay so this is my service okay now i will go back now i will assign this cost center group to standard hierarchy so we will again go to standard hierarchy okay from here assign cost center group Okay, and we will give OK. So this is the cost center group we created now. Okay, so you can see that under the standard hierarchy, the cost center group has been created. Now we will create a cost center. Okay, for that we will go back. Okay, here you will be able to see that the create cost center. Create cost center. So I am uh, creating a cost center T005 and valued from within this, you will be able to do the postings. So I am giving 
today's date. Okay, and this to infinity. So here I will give uh, the cos center name I will give ABC service. Okay, here also I will give ABC service. And here you will be able to give the person responsible. And here you can give the cost center category. So I will give service cost center. Then I can give the hierarchy area. Which is service. And also the currency which is INR. Okay, so I will select this. And after this, I will save this. Okay. So you will be getting this uh, indicator. So uh, ignore this, enter. So our course center has been created. Now I will show you how to create a cost element. So before that, we have to create a GL account uh, related to the cost. Okay, so if we post anything in the FY, it has to be flown to the controlling. Uh, so the entries related to the cost has to be flowed to the controlling. For that, we used to create the cost element. First, I will create a GL account uh, for service service charges. So I will create in the FS double zero. Okay, so I will create uh, 4003. The account group is expenses, profit and loss statement. Okay, I will give service charges. Okay, and in the control data, INR only balances in local currency. Then create bank interest. In the field status group, I will give it as cost accounts. Okay, and I will save this. So for this account, I am going to create it as a cost element. So for this, the transaction code is K01. So here we can go to cost element accounting and here we have to go to the master data then cost elements here you can see that create cost element so there are two types of cost element that is one is primary cost element this is for the integration of the fi and uh, ceo and this is the secondary cost element which is used within the controlling okay now we will create the primary cost element so we will create the 4003 account i will give enter okay and i will create the cost element category so this is the primary cost Okay, and after this, I will save this. So you can see that the cost element has been created. So this is how you can create the uh, controlling area, and then we have done the cost center accounting. I think you all understood this concept. Uh, if you like this video, please share and please support by subscribing. That's all. Thank you.